Okay, hi, welcome back to my channel. I know I look disgusting. You need greasy hair to dye your hair and I may have not showered for like two days, but we're not gonna get into that because it's a long story. But anyway, as you can see, my roots are awful. Like, look at that, this. Like, it literally looks like I'm balding because my roots are completely gray. So yeah, we're gonna change that. Anyway, so I am going to be bleaching the under part of my hair and then just touching up like the roots on the top half. Um, I'm just using like a demi-permanent to do my roots because eventually I want to bleach my whole head. But I think I'll do that like in January or something like over winter break when I have more time. I just really need a change. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to do it today. So I have this. I'll do like close-ups and everything, but it's just like the Wella Color Charm bleach. And then 30 volume developer, which I know you're not supposed to use 40, so I got 30, but also I got this little booster thing, which also um like reduces the developer, if you know what I mean. Like I think it said, yeah, so it said if you usually use 20 to use 30 when you're using this, so it's basically going to be making this into 20. And then we'll see what the first round does. I don't know because I have been dyeing my hair for quite some time and I do use permanent, but I use like 10 volume developer and I only use like stuff from Sally's, like I don't use box dye. So at least I know what's in my hair, but with like the root growth and stuff, I'm not really sure what I'm expecting. So yeah, we're just gonna like section this off and get started, I guess. Okay, I think the sectioning is about as good as it's gonna get. I'm not like too worried about how perfect it is because it's just like the underneath and yeah, I don't know why I'm not too worried. <laughs> Whatever. I don't want it to be too thick either. I think thin would look kind of cool. I don't really know what I'm doing, so let's just get mixing, I guess. This has literally been my dream of like bleaching my hair since like I was like 12. How do you open this? I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes, so nervous to even just mix the bleach because I'm so nervous to do this, but <sighs> let's just do it, I guess. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Like I'm so excited for the result, but horrified at the same time. I've literally never bleached my hair before, so I'm I'm just worried it's gonna turn out really bad. And then, yeah, I have lab on Monday, so if I have to show up with bad hair, I guess I do. Okay, well, I got it on my carpet. Well, that was the one thing I was scared of, but it already happened, so. so I'm gonna start like mids to ends because my roots are pretty grown out. Okay, well, there's no going back now. <laughs> this is really hard to see. Well, it's kind of fun when you get into it, but I'm also still so scared. I'm not gonna be my normal, like, self in this video. I already know that because I'm terrified and don't want to talk, so I'm sorry. Just got it all over my pants. So it's 2.58, so at like 3.10, I'll see where the lightness is at and then possibly do the roots. I'm kind of like really nervous because it's not lightening at all. It's only been about like five minutes, but I'm getting really like sad because it's not working, which I know is like bad, but I'm quite nervous. Okay, I actually think it is, so mood restored. <laughs> okay, so it's been like 24 minutes and I'm still not really seeing a lot of lift, which really worries me. As you can see, oh, maybe. So we're gonna do like the roots and stuff and then let it sit for like, 10 more minutes and then rinse it out. Give her a nice little refresh. <laughs> At least now I know I definitely need to do it twice, so I'm not as concerned about it coming out like perfect. <laughs> well, I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes, wash it out, and then I'll see you. Look, I know it's gonna be a disaster, so. Here's the result. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think the bleach was too liquidy the first time, so I'm going to make it more of a like cream consistency. So I'm just gonna time lapse the second round because it's just gonna be easier that way. So I'll see you after.
background is completely on. I think it's gonna be better this time. Um, I don't think I made the bleach right last time, like creamy enough, and I don't think I left it on long enough, so I made it really creamy. <laughs> and I'm leaving it on, so hopefully it's okay. I don't know what the back looks like, which is probably not good. Oh, okay. And yeah, I'm wearing a turtleneck. Um, this is an old one that has like rip here, so I just don't want to get chemical burns on my neck. So anyway, I'm gonna leave this in for about 10 minutes and then shower. Hey, so. So I just wanted to apologize for like yesterday. I feel like I was like, I was really nervous. And also I just like fought with my parents. So I was like not in the best mood and I just don't really, I was really nervous. But anyway, so this is where we're at. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have some oil, so it's a little bit darker, but it's honestly like really light, just randomly in some parts. It's still super soft. It literally feels the same as the rest of my hair. It's like slightly dry because of just rinsing with water and not conditioning or shampooing. Yeah, it feels great. I just don't want to bleach it again because I feel like at this point we're like, oh, it's still good. And then you bleach it and then it's absolutely fried. So I bought this Arctic Box Virgin Pink. This stuff is super bright. Bright, bright. I dyed my sister's hair with this one time. It turned out like hot, hot pink. And also on their website it says this is good for non-bleached hair. So I'm hoping it'll take to these ends. And also since pink and orange both have warm undertones, I think it'll be fine. I don't know though, because I don't really know about hair. But I'm gonna do that, and then I'm also gonna um, do my roots. I'm using a demi-permanent. Um, I don't know how well it'll cover up the grays. You can't really, yeah, you can see them. <laughs> Just because I feel like it. And then I'll probably do an update video in about a month and bleach this again. I might even do my whole head and then keep this blonde and do like a copper color. Also, those are clothes I need to donate. They're not like garbage bags, so I'm sorry. Okay, I moved the bags because I was insecure about them, but I'm not going to make my bed. I also, I'm going to do the pink first because I'm using the same bowl and I just feel like it. <laughs> okay. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> that is bright. It smells really good too. I'm just going to time lapse. Actually, this whole video has been time lapse. Should we chat? I don't really know what we'll talk about. <laughs> I know it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to start at my ends since they're darker so they get dye on them longer. And I really don't want to get this on my carpet. In my old room, I just had cement floors. Like, I didn't have real flooring because I was in the basement and it flooded. <laughs> and we just never replaced the flooring. So I dyed my hair and not even care. But now I have, like, beige carpet. So I have to worry a little bit. Also, yeah, I'm using the camera as a viewfinder or whatever. Literally, when I was, like, 12 years old, my dream was to have pink hair. And this is insane. But I was worried that since it's just the underneath, it wouldn't feel like a huge dramatic change and it kind of doesn't but whatever it's something <laughs> i hated how that section looked because it literally makes me look like i'm like bald in this lighting not really but in natural lighting it looked like it was just my skin so it looked like i had the shaved area there and i did not like that <laughs> this might make it a lot worse than it was before god i hope not this is riveting content i know but i love watching hair transformations so hopefully you guys do too well, I'm gonna go clean up and I'm not gonna film applying onto the roots because it's just demi-permanent brown. It's like boring. So I'll see you when this is done and my makeup's done and all that. So, bye. Okay, and the final hair reveal in three, two, one. Here it is. The curls I know are really bad. My hair is like super clean and it just doesn't hold a curl when it's clean. So yeah, whatever. It's, I really like it. It is patchy in some places, which is to be expected. I didn't really know what I was doing. And obviously I didn't want like a whole ton of damage. So I wasn't gonna go back and do the orangey spots with bleach again right now. I will. I'm gonna wait like a month or maybe two, like maybe beginning of January before second semester starts, I'll bleach it again. And yeah, my roots turned out pretty good with the demi-permanent. Um, you can still see, also I got dye on my forehead. You can still see some of the grays, but that's fine. I didn't want permanent or anything. It's probably gonna fade out pretty fast. I just don't like the way I look with dark hair. I don't know. People always say since I'm so pale with dark hair, it looks good, but I don't like it. I feel like a vampire, which is kind of fun sometimes, but I'm tired of that. But this is so fun. It's not like a huge dramatic change or anything. This is what it looks like when it's like up.
Was that good? And this is what it looked like when I turn around. I'm just kidding, but yeah, I like it. And yeah, there'll be lots more hair videos to come now that I have bleached hair and I'm gonna keep destroying it. So yeah, probably the next hair video will be in January or something. So be on the lookout for that. Um, if you're not subscribed to me, which you probably aren't because hair videos get a lot more views than like any other video. So subscribe to me. I'm super cool. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm not cool, but like you should subscribe. Let's be friends. But yeah, you should subscribe, like, comment, you know, get that engagement up for me. I know the background's messy. It is in every clip of my videos. So I, yeah, I spend a lot of time doing my hair instead of doing homework. So I don't have time to clean my room as well. <laughs> I really hope you liked the video. I know it was super awkward in some spots. I was just really nervous throughout the entire video. Follow all my social medias down below, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Love you and thank you so much for watching. Obviously done by a non-professional.